present to you, and to you, and to you, a real element of English Canadian theater. Okay, I want okay, you and everyone to meet and welcome the human fly. <laughs> I don't, what do I call you, human or fly? Just call me fly. <laughs> <laughs> call you fly? Right. right, right. Pe they're laughing a bit, but you are, in fact, a serious daredevil. Right? Well, that's my employment, of course. Everyone knows that by now. T tomorrow night, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be jumping 26 buses on board that motorcycle right over there. Okay, we've got, we can take a look at the motorcycle in, in, in a moment. Just move the camera around. We've got a shot of the motorcycle that the human fly will be on. What? Tell me about it. Well, first of all, the record to date is 108 feet. Now, tomorrow is that night. Evil Knievel? Yeah, that's right. That's Evil Knievel. And tomorrow, I'm going to attempt 250 feet. That's double and a half the world record. And it is a motorcycle. Some people said it's a jet bike and all this stuff. But if you see it, it is a motorcycle. What's different about it? The only thing that's different is it's di powered by what we call a rocket motor, which means it's got hydrogen peroxide and nitrogen mixing in it which makes it a little bit more powerful. Where are you going to do Please go for the voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That'll cure your cold. And where are you going to do this? At the Olympic Stadium. Yeah? How, how many people have bought tickets so far? Well, it's not a... You could give the TRS a call tomorrow and find out, but uh, I'm not up to date on that. Uh, what we my job is... 4,000. 4,000, eh? That's not very many at Olympics. Do you think Canadians are not interested in Daredevil? Well... I think Canadians aren't too excited about uh, supporting their home boys, you know. When I went to L.A. and I did my stunt on top of the DC-8, I attracted 65,000 people with hardly any promotion. Now that I'm in Canada, in my hometown of Montreal, we've done uh, practically $45,000 to $50,000 worth of promotion, and uh, uh, the tickets to date are approximately 12,000 people. So, I mean... Uh, I'm not jumping for the people, I'm jumping for the people to show them that I am the greatest daredevil. I will do the jump if there's two people there, or there's 60,000 people. And after this jump, the world will be convinced that the human fly is the greatest daredevil that ever lived. Canada's, Canada's own superhero. There's a comic book about him. Yeah. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it. What do you think of the human fly? Well, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he's really an actor for what he says, there's two people I'm going to jump. Yeah. This is uh, mainly being uh, theatrical. He is a real theatrical person. I mean, it's. Uh, I wonder if it ever eventually be a, an Olympic discipline. Jump. <laughs> Jump. So Jumping every buses. kid will start doing it. If you, if you want, you could ride on the back with me tomorrow night. And no, feel I could like. I mean. So you're going over 26 buses. 26 buses. That's really a feat if you think about it. No one really imagines what 250 feet really is. You know, you say 258. All right, but you know, so what? But when you think about it, that's almost the length of a football field in the air on a motorcycle. So that's pretty far. I'm well, psyched up about it, and I'm very confident. Well, and I want to wish you luck. Tomorrow night at the, uh, at the Olympic Stadium in Montreal, Canada's superhero daredevil, the human fly, will attempt on the motorcycle you just saw to jump 26 buses. We're going to pause briefly, and I'll be right back to talk about Quebec Theater. Quite two weeks ago, when we were in Montreal, we talked with a Canadian stuntman called the Human Fly, and one of his complaints during that conversation was that Canadians aren't very interested in the kind of thing that he's been trying to do. Now, in a moment, I'm going to talk to the man who promotes the Human Fly and who arranges the kinds of stunts that he does. I'm going to ask him about how much you really can promote this kind of phenomenon in this country or anywhere else. But first, I want to show you a bit of film, because the night after the human fly appeared on 90 Minutes Live. He went to Olympic Stadium in Montreal and before a crowd, as you'll see in a film we'll show you in just a moment, of not very many people, he tried to jump on a motorcycle over 26 buses. Now here's what happened that night in Montreal.
Will the attendants please rush to the area? People must stay away. Please do not rush to the area. Please do not rush to the area. Okay, I would like you now to meet David Levine, the man who promoted that that event in Montreal, and a couple of other stunts that the human fly has done. David, the first question okay. is obvious. How is he? Well, I'm sorry that he's not here with us tonight. I know that he would have loved to have been. He's uh, miraculously only uh, sustained uh, some bruises, uh, scratches, and um, he was uh, observed for internal injuries for two days, and he's been released, and he's at home now resting, and believe it, uh, believe it or not, ready for the next stunt, <laughs> next event. He could have killed himself. Well, from that footage that we just saw, yes, it's quite spectacular. But I, I think a very interesting point is that uh, that bike was tested. Everything behind the projects that the Human Fly Spectacular Limited, that the company that backs and finances and manages the project, we test. Everything is tested. The only thing we couldn't test, we knew that the bike uh, uh, would function effectively. Uh, we couldn't test it in the air. Um, no, but you tried with him on it. Well, of course, because that's daredevilry. Now, I, I want to say one point about this. Um, the human fly, I think, has to be admired for his courage, number one. Number one, uh, he walked out, he saw a, uh, uh, an Olympic stadium, the size of which is tremendous, and incidentally, we had to use that stadium because of the length of the buses. And... Uh, he decided to go ahead with the event well, he'd said, anyway. He'd said the night before he'd go whether there were two people there or 60,000. Mm -hmm. I want to know, how come there were so few people there? Well, there's a number of reasons. Number one, uh, looking back uh, uh, at the perhaps the gate charge, $9, is uh, a heavy ticket to pay. Uh, if you're a man with uh, two children, and uh, obviously this would appeal to youngsters. How many people were there, 1,500? There, there were... 2,500 people. Well, the Star said 2,500, the Gazette said 50. Well, yeah, that's been rather confusing. There was, the count was 2,500 there, but interestingly enough, 7,500 tickets were sold in advance. Now, that says something. That says that the weather that evening, which was quite chilly that night, scared off a lot of people. Okay, and but you, you must have taken a bath, a financial bath, right? It's not a financial bath. It's an investment. We are building a property, and this is what I want to make specifically clear. Um, the whole project is a five-year plan of investment, okay? We are building a property value. In other words, here, here's a classic example, comic book. Yeah. All right, the more exposure that this human fly character receives, the more value the property How much did you lose in has. Montreal? How much have you invested so far in trying to create this character? It's not a loss, and I'm not going to let you say it's a loss. Well, $250,000 would be a fair guess? I would say 150000 was invested in the event, yeah. yes. But people here are, don't, they don't care. You promoted, where? You, promoted, where? you promoted the heck out of that. People yes. in Canada, you said that, he said no, that. No, I did not say that. He said it on our show. No. The human fly, whoever he is. I'm sorry, what was said, okay, specifically, and I, and I wanted to make this quite clear, you cannot say Canadians in general do not relate to something like this. Canada is a large country, just like the United States is a large country. Um, people's uh, interests out west and out east are different. I had mentioned in, in, uh, in, in, an, in an interview with one of the papers in Montreal, I, I did uh, specify French Canadians, because French but Canadians... But he said Canadians on our program. I could show you the tape, which we have ready, but we really haven't got time. I don't want to argue with you, well, but... Well, uh, I, we, I looked it, at the tape this afternoon, and you know, he said Canadians. And, well, and I, specifically, what we meant is that the French Canadian audience is skeptical, and they are a little... Uh, too sophisticated? Could be, could be. So you're going to take be. them to the United States? Well, our next event is... <laughs> Well, I'll tell you something. We draw 35,000 people in California, 15,000 in Dallas, Texas. What does that say? You tell me. What does it say? Texans are crazy. <laughs> I, got, I got to pause right now. David, we'll, we'll follow the human fly and see how he does. And, and just before I do, I would like to welcome the stations who have joined us at, at this point, say that, uh, that uh, I shall be right back. I... <laughs>